whole bunch of supports to do. Okay. Got Shez and Marianne A rank to start with. Oh, hello. Are you on your way to get something to eat? Sure. Yeah, you? I am. Shall we go together then? Sure thing. I wonder what they've cooked up for us today. I kind of do want to go get something to eat. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Pretty nice getting such tasty meals all the time, huh? I agree. The meal was lovely. You didn't finish your meat again. It's kind of a waste, you know. I give it to Raphael. I ate a lot of the vegetables, so you can have it. Hey, if you're offering... Wait a minute. Haven't we had this conversation before? <laughs> I think we have. Did something happen to you, Marianne? You seem more relaxed today. In a good way, of course. Yeah, she's a little more cheery. Oh, no, nothing in particular. But I made a decision. I'm not going to worry about whether I bring misfortune to others or not. I've been a part of this army good. for a while now. And I've worked closely with everyone in it. And nothing terrible has happened to anyone as a result of being around me. Well, of course nothing bad's happened. I'm still a bit anxious about everything, but I decided to adopt a more easygoing attitude. I'd like to emulate you and your nonchalant demeanor, how you can just move through the world without a care. <laughs> You're making me sound kind of irresponsible. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I say if you want to talk to people, then talk to them. If you want to be alone, then do that. I really think it's best to just be yourself. Don't force anything. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. But I fear my adoptive father might chastise me again if I say that to him. Well, screw him then. I'm not so sure about that. I think he'd acknowledge how far you've come if he saw you now. You really think so? You might not have noticed, but you're a lot different than you used to be. You're definitely somewhat sociable. More so, even. I just hope that's good enough for him. I'd like to think it will be. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know what kind of guy your father is. Yeah, it's not like we've ever met him. Sometimes I think you say whatever pops into your head without thinking. I suppose that's what I like about you, isn't it? I can already tell I'm going to learn a lot from you. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. So, you've arrived, Claude. I pray you are ready. <laughs> oh boy, does she have another hair spell? Okay, no need to start off with a bunch of yelling. And, uh, what should I be ready for, exactly? <laughs> the day has finally come! The day for you to be thunderstruck by the self-same magic you once so viciously mocked! Oh boy. The magic? The magic. Oh, you mean that hair-raising one you used on me. hair ra No! <laughs> that is not the purpose! It is meant for changing the length and style of hair! Right, sure. Um, so, what about it again? Ugh, your droll lack of enthusiasm boggles the mind. Do you understand just how much I devoted myself to my studies since that day of shame? Also, I might have some vindication? Okay, wait, look, I know you're a hard worker, but that was just, you know, one of those things. I don't really think you need vindication. Silence, Cretan! <laughs> Let your jaw hang slack in its moorings as you witness how my magic has evolved! Yes, let it hang slack. Oh, you got me again. Well, at least I'm not sharp and pointy. Right, this we're time. doing this again. You most certainly are not. Do you truly think me the type to make the same mistake twice? It has been quite the gauntlet of trial and error, yet finally I have arrived. I stand now on the fresh new ground of magic. The magic of gentle tresses tumbling over one's shoulders. Say, this does come in nicely at the ends. <laughs> some parts longer, some shorter. Whoa, but it's really frizzy. <laughs> it's like a it's like a bird's nest up in here. What an exquisite style! Are there any what eggs? An innovative look. Truly, this is the most striking of spells. Uh, and I guess I have a fluffy beard now. Oh come on, I want to well, see that's this. Certainly something. Yes, and it makes you appear quite unkempt. Perhaps it is not the look for you. <laughs> hey, don't laugh it off. What am I supposed to do about this mountain man beard, huh? Last time you zapped me, my hair was stiff enough to stab through armor for an entire day. I couldn't even get to sleep because I shredded my pillow. 
Dude, you should have you should have gone to battle and had Raphael swing you around. Are you saying I've just got to grin and bear this until it wears off? At this point, there is nothing else I can do. You can endure this for one day, no? If it helps, I am willing to offer my moral support. If only this wasn't Fodlin. And what is so wrong with Fodlin? Just that a manly beard like this would be considered a real accomplishment in the East. Your magic would be praised to the heavens if you went out that direction. Then my magic could transcend borders? <laughs> you finally understand the extent of my talent! <laughs> No, it's just that this kind of one way that here in Fodland. Okay, she's not listening. Unintentionally compliment someone. Captain Gerald, I have a request to make of you. Ugh, someone's formal today. Well, out with it. When this war is over, please let me join your mercenary company. You'll go back to wandering the world, right? So please, Captain. Please let me come with you. Ugh. I'm happy to hear you want to join us, Leonie. That's not enough for me to say yes. No. Why not? Hmm. There are two reasons. The biggest is that I'm thinking about stepping down from my position as captain. So the ultimate call isn't really mine to make. Then who will lead the mercenaries? I mean, who else? I tell you, that's up to them. The second reason is that I think you should start your own band of mercenaries instead. Hmm. Yeah, and then do that and just recruit Gerald. There you go. You do? You're a mercenary in your own right now, and a fantastic general in this army. With that kind of experience, there's no point in going to work for someone else. Do you really think so? Of course. Someone with your skill set would be a fine addition to any group of mercs, including mine. But you're planning to surpass me and the kid, right? You can't exactly do that if you're working for us. You'll have to build your own band of mercs from the ground up and win your reputation just like I did. You'll need to give it your all if you want to create something better than what I've built. Hmm. Then that's what I'll do. I'll form my own band of mercenaries that's every bit as good as yours. And Gerald's like, oh, thank God. I got her. I got rid of her. That's why I'm proud to call you my apprentice. But in exchange, I have a condition. You have to remain as captain until I catch up to you. <sighs> Well, I guess it's a captain's job to live with an apprentice's reckless decisions. But I don't have all the time in the world. <laughs> this body's falling apart as it is. So get yourself up and running before I shrivel away. <laughs> Got it? It's a promise. I'm looking forward to the day. Hey, I was looking for you. Didn't think I'd find you down by the river. That's an awful lot of blood on your cloak. Ooh. I thought is that? soaking it in the water would help get it out. I don't know. That fight went on for a while. And blood doesn't come out so easily, even if you start washing it right away. If you ask me, it's more trouble than it's worth. You have another one, right? I do. But I'd still like to use this one if I can. Man, just keep using it with the blood on it. That's to your intimidation factor. <sighs> Something wrong? Hmm? It's just... You reminded me of Citri, of your mother, back when we first met. How so? There was this one time when she was trying really hard to get some stains out of a handkerchief. She had your same quiet composure and everything, and when I asked her if she had another one, you know what she told me? She just turned and said, if I could still use this one, I'd rather not throw it away. Well, that's not exactly the same. Maybe not. But I still see so much of her in you. When I was first getting to know her, I never saw her laugh or cry. Just like someone else I could mention. You know, mm. you never really used to talk about her. But you've been doing it a lot lately. Why is that? Well, because now we're in the time for the game, you know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling a little regret for dragging you into the mercenary life. You've never had a place to call home. And you don't have any friends your age. And it's been one bloody battle after another since this war broke out. If she were still alive, your life would be entirely different. You'd be with her. And things would be... peaceful. I don't regret my life here with you. I might not have a home or friends, but you've always been there for me. Living by the sword suits me just fine. And I've had no shortage of allies, so... You're right. There's no cause for regrets. You really are just like her, though. You know that? 
We've dealt with bandits before, but this is worse than anything I could have imagined. Indeed, the damage done to the larger towns was upsetting enough, but the horrors unleashed upon some of the villages borders on the unspeakable. We saw entire fields trampled and destroyed. Whole villages burned to their foundations. Attacking Damn. innocent civilians like that. It's inhuman. How could anyone be so cruel? To torment people like this and then walk away laughing. It's horrible. I'm convinced that those who slither in the dark are behind this, pulling the strings. It makes perfect sense, seeing as they already know Ordelia territory so well. What do you mean? Many years ago, the Empire accused House Ordelia of participating in the Hrim Rebellion. This was just an excuse to begin meddling in our affairs. During that time, they sent a group of strange mages into Ordelia territory. Everything about them felt wrong, from the way they looked to the powers they possessed. It was clear they weren't regular people. Are you saying they were really those who slither in the dark? I believe so, now that I look back on it, though it's not exactly a memory I care to relive. And now they've wormed their way into Ordelia and Hrim territories again. This is just a guess, but their base of operations could be somewhere near here. Do you remember ever having lived in this area? Yeah. My mom and I spent a few years in a mountain village somewhere in Ordelia territory. <laughs> but she wasn't so was nearby, there, and I don't know where she lived before that. Hmm. There could be a connection there. Or maybe it's nothing. Either way, dealing with them needs to be our top priority. We gave them this opening. They never would have been able to take advantage of us like this if we hadn't been at war. Just another reason why we have to end this conflict as quickly as possible. We have to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. Constance and Happy. What's their A rank? Da, 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 da. Go. I'm not gonna make it. Oh no, Happy. she's dying. What in the world do you mean? You look rather unsteady all of a sudden. I am so sleepy. Why not just end my suffering now? Can you not pull yourself together? You were the one who volunteered for guard duty in the first place. Uh, I know. I'm but whenever it's just duty. the two of us like this, it reminds me of how things used to be. And then I get all nostalgic and sleepy. Usually I'd be in bed right now, you know? Well, I cannot deny feeling a little nostalgic myself. I can't believe we're still together after everything that's happened. We had to stick with the church for a while. And then we were lucky enough to be taken in by the Federation. Wild, right? I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like we're best friends or something. Have you already forgotten what you once told me? You said that you would be so utterly lonesome without me to keep you company that it would only be a matter of time before you began to sigh. It was necessary that I stay with you in order to avert certain disaster. I had no choice in the matter, you see? Did I really of say all that? You did indeed. It was the very day we left Abyss, if memory serves. All right then, fine by me. I wonder what everyone else from Abyss is up to now. We know Baldus and Yuri are alive and well, and I believe it is likely everyone else is thriving too. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Do you ever wish you could return to those days, back in Abyss? Me? Nah, not really. Most of the people here don't know about my power. They actually treat me like a normal person. Indeed. Plus, you're here. It's like you said, I'd get lonely without my Coco. What about you? Would you be lonely without me? Well, lonely is not necessarily the word I'd use. So yes. Hmm. So it's just me then, huh? Okay, fine. I would. I would be positively despondent without you here. D despondent, that's the word. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? I'm glad you finally admitted it. You knew? Why must you always tease me so? Come on, you were pretty happy when I volunteered for guard duty, weren't you? Yes, well, you see, that was because it had already been assigned to me. I merely thought it would be easier to have a partner with whom I was already familiar. Same here. That's why I volunteered. I knew you'd be my partner, Coco. Ugh, I simply cannot win with you. Okay, paralogue time. Of Gerald Byleth Leone. Gerald Byleth, I 
been hired to clear out poachers near Zon Village. We're joined by Leone, who is eager to defend the village she calls home. That's right, gets me a bow battalion. Let's go. We get all of them? Oh, that's the trouble with poachers. You never quite know where they are. Well, we've hit every likely hideout, so I'm guessing we cleared them all out. I'm glad you were here, Leone. You really know the lay of the land. Well, Sawin is my home. But you've been here before too, Captain. So did they already take the people sure, out? Sure, but that was a long time ago. And I don't remember it all that well. Ill news, oh, Captain. Eloise is here too. Another group of poachers has taken hostages from a neighboring village. These people are a disgrace to poaching. <laughs> Saying so makes it sound like you believe there was some honor in the activity to begin with. I was just thinking something similar. <laughs> These hostage takers must be friends of the poachers who were just here. According to the people of the village, they were involved in kidnapping as well as poaching. They made it sound like more than a few people have been taken from the surrounding villages recently. Saw on too? Yes, they said there was one. Oh, it makes me so mad. These folks sound like bad news. We'd better do something before these new victims are dragged off and never heard from again. House Gloucester's orders were to deal with the poaching issue in Sawney. We did that. Our work is done. How can you be so cold? If you see someone in trouble, you help them. That's just basic decency. I don't see anyone here. Do you? <laughs> you know what I mean. Easy, Leone. The kid was just stating a fact. I'm sure no harm was intended. How could you possibly raise such a cold and unfeeling person, Captain? Yeah, it's Sothis's fault. I wasn't always the best dad, I admit. Uh, perhaps we should shelve this conversation for now and determine our next move? Plenty of villagers helped me out the last time I was in this neck of the woods, so it's only right I pay it back. Let's buy have something like clipping into her body. Plus, I'm not just going to sit by while poachers run wild in my apprentice's home turf. Captain! But we can't linger long. We track down the bad guys, free the hostages, and go home. Got it? I knew you'd do the right thing. You don't have any connections here, so it's your call if you want to pitch in or not. Nobody will think worse of you if you decide to duck out on this little goose chase. Let's go. Uh, I'll come. I wouldn't want anything to happen to Leone's home. Good to know I can count on you at least. <laughs> I'm sure you'd manage without me, but many hands make light work and all that. Then let's roll. Leone, you're in charge. Leave it to me, Captain. Now, enough deliberation. The time has come for plain old liberation. Uh, sure. Right behind you. Okay, 9 minutes, 1200 kills. Let's go. The hostages must be further in. Maybe we can draw the bad guys away from them first. A fun plan, Captain. Once we've done so, we can easily rescue the hostages. Here we go, then. Let's make some noise and get their attention. This is the strongholds. Strike the enemy. Has it been since I was here last? Where does the time go? I know what you mean, Captain. Though not literally, of course, as I don't believe I was with you at the time. Come here, Marvin Rider. Kill you real quick. Just flying through these people with Byleth. Or Shez. Over to Byleth. Explode him. We were dealing with the trial of Byleth's time powers. Can't say I do. Go this way. Yeah. 
Into me. I didn't kill the regular guys. with the Knights of Seros. Yoni, what's taking you so long to take that base? Way with Leone. Well, you've drawn them out. Now's our chance to rescue the hostages. Okay, let's take care of any enemies who held back and rescue those hostages. The strongholds aid the yes, citizens. We should mop up the rest of them, huh? Please, Captain. When I first met okay. the captain, I was a weak little village girl. And now I'm a mercenary. I really have come a long way. Hey, come here. You? Weak? That's hard to imagine. Captain Gerald taught me how to determine the flow of battle by capturing key points on the battle. He's the best. Come here, base captain. Looking good. Oh, hello. Don't get cocky. Give me a gauge. Die. Okay, I'm all the way up here. Let's go back to Violet. when he needs to be underhanded even he does whatever it takes to win citizen is nearly routed oh let me go help them Time to okay. yeah, it's my turn. let's go with leone put the jar on the way Excuse me, coming through. You die. You weren't ready for me. Okay, got those. You're Leone from Sawin, right? 
We got in front of the guy. Okay, we still caught him. Okay, you good for now? I need to go help the others. Okay, that one's not under attack. I know it seems like yesterday to you, but I've done a lot of living since then. Captain. Was it too much work taking me on as an apprentice? Nah, I mean, I gotta do something to do every time, right? They were just waiting for the that reminds me. How's your for the guys man? to be killed. As poor as ever, but he's healthy and happy. I remember how the two of you used to drink until the sun came up. <laughs> okay, are they oh, it's still a wyvern rider right there. Okay, they got one more guy to kill. Leone's dealing with this guy. <laughs> to go. Let's go back this way. Just one more. Hello. I think we're about done. Oh, we just died to that. Okay, they defeated him. What about this guy? Go get him. We did it. We saved all the hostages. Hooray. Although who's this green oh, that's probably Aloise, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Time to kill some poachers in the name of justice, huh? Well you meddlers should have minded your own business. Okay, bandit leaders up here. That must be the leader. Let's make him pay. Beat the bandit leader. What do I need for S rank? Uh, oh, we already went over time. Damn. Okay, well, might as well just take some more time and kill these guys. Get off my base, Captain. Okay, shoot. Is it past you? Way. Break a jar. Hello. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, you're dead. Okay, bend it leader. Shadow blade, and he's dead. We 
did it, Leone. Okay, okay easy mission. Now we're really done. Let's beat it. Yes, sir. Stage complete. Okay, speedway. Be Shaz. I told jokes to the hostages as I delivered them safely back to their villages. You could say I had a captive audience. We've restored okay. peace to this whole area, Captain. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mercs like us are only supposed to work for pay. A freebie every now and then won't kill me. Yeah, I would have regretted it if I'd gone home. Thank you for doing the right thing. I just followed orders. That's all. Well, I'm thanking you anyway. Now the villagers can live in peace. I was supposed to stay here and be a hunter with my father, you know? But once I met the captain, I knew I had to try and make it as a mercenary. My father and the rest of the village always supported me, before the academy and after. It's been a long, strange path, but I finally became a mercenary and was able to help my hometown in the process. I don't think I've ever been happier. It feels like I've repaid some debts, although not my actual debt from school. Still working on that one. I'm glad we helped you give back. I wonder Instead how much debt that is. Give you back. Alois, do you mind reporting back and letting Count Gloucester know what happened? Oh, and, and don't forget to grab the reward money. Understood. I will away at once. Isn't that Leone, Lawrence? Why don't you run along to Sawin and let everyone know things are good now? Tell them I'll stop by later. I will, Captain. Thank you, again. You two should head back to base. I've got to pay my respects to the village elder and Leone's old man. Probably won't make it back until tomorrow. You expect them to throw you a feast, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's why you sent Leone ahead. So the villagers could prepare for your arrival. I mean, oh my you gosh. got rid of the poachers and now Leone's telling them you're on the way? You're practically begging them to serve you up a fancy meal. It's not like that. Although, if I get there and they just happen to have a feast ready, it'd be rude to refuse. And poor Aloise doesn't even get to join in on the fun. Shame. Well, oh, sucks to be him. Hey, that guy hasn't had a drink in years. He's not missing anything. Now then, this is an evening for grown-ups, so you kids get on home. If anything comes up while I'm gone, you can handle it yourselves. Well, time for me to set off. Ah, uh, there's nothing like that first drink after playing the hero. <laughs> Be exasperated. Is Gerald always like this? Yes, always. Well, Interesting. I guess us kids should shut up and head home. Maybe hold hands so we don't get lost. Must we hold hands? <laughs> what? Only joking. I swear, the only thing duller than your blade is your sense of humor. Okay, on to the next main mission. Pacification of Ordelia. Flames of unrest have engulfed Ordelia territory. To prevent the violence from spreading any further, you head for the town said to be the root of the chaos. Alright, let's go. It's some slitherers. Everyone, the Middle Frank Opera Company is at the town up the road. We have to get there quick. Really? Wow, really? I never imagined they'd come all this way. Is Dorothea gonna be there? Wait a minute. What are they doing here? Don't they have their own opera house in the Imperial Capital? Yeah. Apparently, they came to put on some shows after you signed that pact, like huh. as a token of friendship between the Empire and Lester. But now, the performers and their guards have volunteered to fight the bandits. Dorothy is totally going to be there, right? They're together with the local soldiers to protect the town. Can I recruit her? You're telling me that a bunch of Imperial Opera singers just up and decided to fight for the Federation? Well, the Middle Frank Opera Company does have quite a few passionate supporters. Though it's likely more accurate to call them obsessed fans who go wild for their superstar divas. I bet those fans are more than willing to go out and play soldier themselves as well. I had no idea the opera could get people so worked up. But they're not going to be able to handle these bandits. I heard they're fighting as best they can, but the battle's not going their way. Please, your majesty, we have to save them. Yeah, your Claudness. <laughs> your Claudness? Ah, <laughs> uh, Raphael's so great. I tell her I met them. What are you all being so formal for? Oh... I get it. 
This is all about meeting those famous singers. Dorothea specifically. I swear, no matter how grim things get, you never let it get to you, huh? Not that it's a bad thing. All right, I guess we're gonna go beat down some bandits. Better not keep those divas waiting. Rescue the citizens. Oh, there it is. Persuade Dorothea. Convince an allied general to join you. Permanently. Right, so what else we got? We can build a bridge over there. Seal the back route. Dispatch Federation General to the secret path used by the bandits to cut off their escape. Send an archer unit. Study strength and allies for a brief time. Begin the battle with allied strongholds stocked with healing items. Okay, I don't really care about those. Let's grab one of these. Get the bridge or seal off the back path. Hmm. Let's go with the bridge. And then I guess I have 10 points for one of these. I might as well go with this. Should be good. Got 15 minutes, 1500 kills. Rescuing the townspeople is our top priority. Okay. And we need to help the volunteer soldiers too. Also, if you see any suspicious types lurking among the bandits, they might be those who slither in the dark. Be careful. How many of these ruffians are there? I can't protect everyone forever. Give me that. Give me Lysithia. Is that Professor Hanneman? We have Gotta go to help Hanneman, okay. The uh, are got he's over there. Do I have to go around that way to get to him? Here. Let's go... Noble, let's go this way. Will them. Just mess these people up. Oh my gosh. All I did was a lightning ground <laughs> just murdered everything. Just hit you with that. Explode. Go this wait, can I go through here now? Oh I can. I heard a voice crying out for help. What good are nobles if they do not aid the common folk? Here, Hanneman. Need to help those people. Okay, let's kill these guys. And they're dead. All right. I'll do my best. Go kill that guy while I switch over to Shez here. That was certainly close. I am much obliged to your assistance. Have you seen Manuel? She dashed off in pursuit of the bandit leader. And all those fighting Pilardo. Why are you chasing me? <laughs> I'm not going to let you steal from such vulnerable people. Stop, Steve. Professor Monroe is going after their leader. We gotta help her. Okay, help Manuela. That was too close. Alright, that guy's dead. Hades, you. Goodbye. Be Blardo's subordinate to reclaim stolen Stop goods. Right I'll never abide stealing from innocent people. Please Kill that base captain. The offer troop can't hold out much longer. Dorothea, wait right there. I will not allow those vile criminals to lay a hand on you. Lawrence, you're not even in this fight. Okay. Someone's having trouble over here. Okay. Explode that guy. Okay. Oh, I'm over here. I can open this. I'll take that. Accessory. They're safe up there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, Plardo. You like Hades. Uh, no, I'm not him. You've got the wrong. 
Fine, have it your way. <laughs> Defeated Polardo? Question mark. Their leader, limb from limb. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Jeez. I don't know what came over me there. Wow, am I glad to see you. Now take care of these cowardly villains. Yep, on it. And they're all dead. There you go. The double I planted turned out to be a stroke of genius. Now to take my lead. Oh, the body double. Is still good. The real Pilardo has appeared. Defeat him. The real one? Don't let him get away. I'm on the hunt. You've got a handle on everything here. I'll go tend to the injured. Wait, I'm just a passing merchant. I'm not good. I was worth trying. All right, Plardo. His comrades abandoned him. Then he got what he deserved. Finish him off. I should have stayed a merchant. Money came easier. Hey, I think I remember him. He's a merchant who used to visit Garrett Mock. Another citizen? Attacked by Mentity. Then strip his bones of whatever you can find. The south side of town is damaged as well. Let's get over there at once. Oh, where this guy come from? Some people who've been left behind. We have to rescue them. Yes, we must help before it is too late. Defeat these people. You do realize you're dead now, yes. I'm not going to die yet. Can I load the bridge? You're not half bad. Okay. Garbage lowered, yes. Why would anyone do something so horrible? You're about to get exactly what you deserve. Save your this guy dead? Where is he? There he is. As I tear your limbs from your body. And a lot of talk of limb tearing in this parallel, or not parallel, in this mission. This base captain. Okay, switch to Shaz. Let's kill this guy. Okay, you're gone. Somebody help. Please don't leave me. Oh, Be shut up and die. Got you. There's no way this guy's their ringleader. Now where could those pesky slitherers be? Attack! Give them no quarter. Okay, let's come over here and help this person. Monic beast appeared. Beast on our hands. The fun never stops, does it? The town cannot sustain any more damage. Take the beast down. Okay. We come over here and capture this place. I'm so glad they're all right. Um, I don't feel so good. Oh no, Dorothea. How dare they poison Dorothea? That isn't good. We need to get her to the evacuee shelter on the double. Okay, this is part of recruiting her. Give me that. Escort her to the shelter There's to rest to uh the eastern side. Let's okay. use that to help Dorothea escape. Oh good, I already opened that. Thank you. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. I don't need her ability. Let's go follow her in case something attacks her. Okay, the rest of them are headed for the monster. What's he got going on? Sword, lance, fist, wind. Okay, stick with help. her. Uh, I can't control Leone. No, damn. Okay. Can I? Con I can't control Raphael either. Okay, well Claude can do the wind, right? Who's this guy? Get out of here. It seems Claude was right to be concerned. Oh, 
with these when you attack by thieves. Dorothea, you're fine. Shez is there. Hey, come on. There we go. It's got some pretty big muscles. But I've handled bigger. Watch closely. My turn. Okay. What's going on here? Get this guy out of my way. Get out of here. Run, Dorothea, run. So this is the scene where all hope seems lost. You can do it. Okay, you're almost there. Get in there. There you go. I survived. Thank you. Yes, live, I Dorothea, live. You if you want to repay us, you'll need to heal up first. She's <laughs> still Time dying to poison. Care of the okay, she's recruited, but like, she's still this poisoned. Poison. She looks like she's gonna die. But don't worry, Dorothea. You're in good hands. And well, could you heal her faster? Okay, there we go. Let's head over here. end of the stage, by the way. I hope this one, because I don't have enough kills. Okay, the battle's not over. Give me the weapon. The weapon. Oh, hold on. Solon has appeared all the way down there. My name is Solon. And I am the savior of this beast infested world. Let me grab someone here. Oh. Mysterious mages conjured a wall of darkness. Let's just Time to make tell them to do all that stuff. I'll go kill the one on the left. Looks like they finally slithered into the light. Those are the masterminds. Kill them all. Hmm. It looks like we could build a bridge over there. Oh yeah. That bridge is uh sure gonna come in handy. We're at the end of the freaking stage. I don't think that Fresh enemy soldiers are attacking the shelter. They're gonna build the bridge. Ah, that's why. They got more guys showing up. Just warp over there. I swear on the pride of Lester, I will defend this place. Okay, they killed the mage dudes. Still need more kills. I'm pretty sure I saw some lumber lying around that would work perfectly. If we lay oh, this guy coming, we've got an instant bridge. Useless bridge. <laughs> oh well. Come here. Okay. We took care of that bizarre wall. Now all that's left is to put an end to solar. Okay. You guys all should go down here. I'm taking care of these people. Lysithia. Ignorant rat. Squander your short life if you must. Oh, 
Uh, they're dealt with. Do I have the 1500? Yes. Okay. That's it, yeah. Die, Solon. Right, done. S rank. So be it. Another chance will present itself ere long. Oh, okay. He retreats. He escaped. We almost had him. Hey, at least we got the situation in town under control. Man, Solon's more of a villain in this game than he was in Three Houses. <laughs> he actually does a fight and lives to <laughs> do it again sometime. Gone in a flash. Just like three years ago. Was that dark magic? If he's got spells like that in his back pocket, I don't know how we'll ever catch him. We finally found him again, but I still couldn't get any information out of him. I wasn't able to get any answers either. What did you want to ask him? I wanted to ask him. How does my sword feel when I run it through you? I have questions about what was done to my body. He and his associates performed horrible rituals on me. Blood experiments. And because of what they did, my lifespan has been drastically shortened. My Scythia. The experiments took a great toll on my body and left me with a burden that eats away at my longevity. Tomas, or rather Solon, I thought he might know a way to reverse that. I had no idea. We can't let him get away next time. If we're not able to catch him, then I'd rather we kill him. At least then, he'd never be able to perform those atrocious experiments ever again. I hear you, and I won't forget it. I have a feeling we'll face him again someday. And when we do... We won't let him beat us. We'll kill him good. Solon looked surprised when he oh, saw your powers. Marvel again. It was like he recognized something. I just don't know what. Maybe it wasn't about me. Maybe it was about you. What's the difference? Our destinies are one and the same. But if he does know me as you suggest, then it stands to reason that I would know him as well. Which is certainly possible, though I have no memory of meeting him before. You think this means we really are connected to those who slither in the dark? It's too soon to say, but I suspect we'll find our answer in due time, so long as the truth is what you really desire. Okay, a drink. Got the Sword of Bagolta and a Master Seal. Okay, MVP. I sit the uh. Solon may have escaped, but I am pleased that we were able to rescue the songstresses from the opera company. We didn't come out here just to save a few opera stars, Lawrence. Yes, we did. We came to protect the town. Besides, those stars just ended up being Dorothea and Professor Manuela. Dorothea! Just? You could at least try to sound more excited, your majesty. That's hardly a way to greet someone you haven't seen in years. Sorry, no offense. I've never seen you two light up the stage, so to me, you're just kind of... you. Well then, we'll have to remedy that. As soon as this war is over, we'll invite all of you to see us perform. If the opera company's still standing, that is. All right, let's get down to business. I suspect the kingdom's getting ready to move in response to our retreat. I think it's time we head back to Deirdre and find out as much as we can about what they're planning. Well, so we're just going back to the kingdom now? Your Majesty, pardon the intrusion, but I must speak with you immediately. Oh, what's this? You're with the Imperial Army, right? What's going on? I was sent by the Emperor of Adrestia herself, Your Majesty. She formally requests that the Federation dispatch reinforcements to her position. Is she fighting the kingdom? The guard wants us to back her up? I was under the impression she had the Western Front under control. Wait, if she's asking us for help, then I bet she's not in Western Fodlin at all. Man, because it wouldn't really make much sense to have us go help her in the Western areas. Like, if she wanted us to help out, it'd be better if we attack the Eastern Kingdom, right? Correct. The Emperor Just distract them. Mach, preparing for an imminent assault by the armies of the kingdom and the church. Ah. Huh. huh. Can't say I saw that one coming. All right. Tell Edelgard we're on our way. Yes, Your Majesty. Going to Garrig Mach, huh? We just got back from Ferdiad, and now we're heading to Garrig Mach. Never a moment's rest, huh? No time for it, I'm afraid. 
If we don't act quickly, more lives will be lost, and the end of the war will slip even further away. Plus, if our next battle's at Garrick Mach, there's a chance Rhea will be there. This could be just the opportunity we need. Can you go assemble the troops? Golden Wildfire. A symbol of the past. Claude's swift military actions save Ordelia territory from immediate danger. However, the Empire's situation has drastically changed. The Kingdom and Central Church are closing in on Garrig Mach, placing Edelgard at a disadvantage. After receiving a request for aid, the Federation Army rushes to the scene. Edelgard requesting reinforcements from us? This is not a matter that we can respond to lightly. Why? It seems pretty straightforward to me. Hilda, do you truly believe that Edelgard would so readily put herself in our debt had she any other choice? That does not sound like the Edelgard I know. She prefers her debts flow in the opposite direction. Huh. Sounds like you two have something in common. <laughs> I will not deny it. In fact, that is precisely what gives me such insight into her current predicament. Make no mistake. The situation must be dire if she feels we are her best option. Simply put, were we to refuse her, it may well lead to her downfall. Ah, oh, that sounds like a great idea. What are you getting at, Lawrence? You've got a real dark glint in your eye. The Empire's regime revolves entirely around its current Emperor. If Adrestia were to lose her, it would collapse like a house of cards. I see what you mean. At this point, there's no one in the Imperial line who could realistically inherit the throne. In other words, if we abandon Edelgard in her hour of need, the Empire will fall right along with her. Not an argument I expected from someone as self-righteous as you, Lawrence. That sounds more like... You. It actually sounds like you, Claude. <laughs> it totally does. And he wouldn't even bat an eye as he said it. It certainly does sound like him. Oh. I'm sorry. And Claude wouldn't even tell his own allies what was going on until it happened. Hey, that's ancient history. Nowadays, we all plot our schemes together. We're <laughs> doing it right now. Together. I guess <laughs> that's true. Although, maybe that means we're all turning into Claude a bit. <laughs> How else do you explain what's happened to Lawrence? We will all be the Claudeness. The idea that I am somehow emulating Claude is preposterous. I am merely proposing what I believe to be the best course of action for Lester. We can debate whether or not we've all become mini clods later. <laughs> for now, let's hear what the king himself thinks we should do. A battle between the Empire and the Knights of Saros with us being the factor that could turn the tides. We've been here before, haven't we? Last time I chose to sacrifice Randolph in order to ensure our victory. And because I did, we got ambushed in ALL and barely made it out alive. I don't want to make that mistake again. Oh. This time, we're going to rush to Garrick Mott, wipe out the Central Church's forces, and take down Rhea herself. And kill Edelgard while we're at it. That That's sounds like a good idea. Put an end to this war with as little bloodshed as possible. That makes it the best option we have. Yes, we're effectively rescuing Edelgard. But hey, we could do worse than having an Emperor in our debt. If that is what you deem best, you will hear no objections from me. Yes. I find the plan satisfactory. I got no complaints either. Let's get going. Sounds like we're all in agreement on this one. Just give the word, your majesty. Right. We march on Garrick Mach to rescue the Imperial Army. Prepare to move out immediately. Got chosen Claude A rank. Hey there. How's my favorite mercenary? The enemy's practically on our doorstep, but you're still taking the time to check on me? Why not? I'll never be too busy to check on you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. So what, you're just being nice? Not exactly. You didn't get a chance to learn anything even after you met Solon, did you? Yeah, we never got closure after our fight against those who slither in the dark. But now we have to turn our attention to the Central Church. I figured even you might have trouble moving on from that one. Interesting that this dialogue is so specific about where we are in the main story. I'll be honest, I can't stop thinking about it. Who am I, really? It's like the answer is dangling right in front of me, but I just can't reach it. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help you with that. 
Don't apologize. It's clear what the priority is right now, even to me. We need to put an end to the church as soon as possible so we can end this war. You're right. The longer Foden remains in turmoil, the more likely it is they'll try something again. We need this war to be over so we're not left vulnerable. And that means more work for you. I'm fine, see? Now go be important. All Could it right, could be right. important? But one more thing before I go. This war is going to end. But our fight with those who slither in the dark won't be over when it does. As long as they keep plotting, we'll keep going after them. I'll need your help with that from here on out. Got it? Of course. You can count on me. Yeah, is that going to be in the story, or what? So happens that we, we actually going to fight them? find out who you really are. Just know that you'll still be the same person to me. You'll always be you. Remember that. Thanks, Claude. Same goes for you. Whether you're the leader of the Lester Alliance, the King, or even the Almiron. Oh, keep it down. <laughs> We're not talking about that part yet. She has in Constance A rank. Constance, is that you? I don't think I've ever seen you train during the day. Good day to you, though I fear my presence is as a storm cloud in an otherwise clear sky. My sincerest apologies for subjecting you to this wretched sight. I shall vacate the premises at once to spare you any further distress. No, Constance, wait, no. Don't go. Since you're here, why don't we train together? You're here because you're trying to achieve your dream, right? Though it pains me to deny such kind words, of which I am truly unworthy, I am afraid my dream will likely never come to pass. This pathetic excuse for athleticism you see before you <laughs> is nothing but a futile attempt to strengthen my frail body and stave off death. How could I possibly ask an exemplary warrior such as yourself to squander your time with one such as I? Training so you don't die is as good a reason as any. I'd say that's why I'm doing it too. See? Our goals are the same, so there's no reason not to work together. Well, since you have given it much more consideration than I deserve. <sighs> what a workout. Oh, now it's nighttime. I'm beat. <sighs> to think my other side would be able to keep up with such rigorous training. You okay, Constance? Never better. In fact, I am just getting started. Huh. Are you leaving so soon? Let's do this. All right, let's go again. But it's strange how you're suddenly so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I surprise even myself sometimes. Making my dreams a reality takes effort, you know. I cannot allow something so trifling as exhaustion to stand in my way. Who knows how long things would take if I did? Therefore, I shall spare no opportunity to train today. And tomorrow, all of Fodlin will behold my military prowess. Um, that's all well and good. But then, why didn't you want to train before? Daylight. I told you there were extenuating circumstances. Had I known you would respond in such a manner, I would have asked for your assistance much earlier. <gasps> oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Oh, I've got a what's bad that? feeling about this. We can train together and conduct magical experiments at the same time. Constance, what's wrong with your hands? You see, I've invented Why are they purple? a particular spell that imbues the palms with a suction power that makes dropping one's weapon a hindrance of the past. Oh, is that why? She casting spells on him? Sure, why not? I'll try anything once. Splendid! Let us begin, shall we? One side has an overabundance of confidence, while the other is clearly lacking it. Maybe the two balance each other out. What are you blathering on about? Let us be on with it! A rank. Now we have Claude. Let's get the A rank. Claude, there's something I need to discuss with you. Sure, but keep it short. I know I don't look it, but I'm actually pretty busy here. Hmm. Are you making light of how I usually respond to your requests? Hey, don't be like that. It's just a joke. We can talk for hours if you want. I've got all the time in the world. There's no need. I'm simply passing on a message from my father. Count Ordelia, huh? Hmm. Go ahead. I'm all ears. I guess it's no surprise he has a word or two to say to the king. I mean, first the imperial invasion, now all this unrest sweeping across the land. None of this would have happened if I just kept a closer eye on those who slither in the dark. Uh, hold on. 
I think you have the wrong idea. My father doesn't want to complain to you. He'd actually like to thank you for bringing the fight with the kingdom to an end, and for rushing to quell the chaos <laughs> in our territories. Aren't we still fighting them? Well, I guess he means, like, retreating from that fight to help Ordelia. He also said he's willing to offer his full cooperation with any of your majesty's policy proposals. All you need to do is say the word. I appreciate that. His broad-mindedness has always proven a great help. Then consider my message delivered. But please, don't put more of a burden on him than necessary. Anxiety has tormented his mind for years now, and he's recently started finding his body less and less willing to cooperate with his brain. It's so uh, an interesting worry. way to put it. I won't ask any more of him than what's absolutely essential. Thanks, Claude. I'll do the work of a hundred others in my father's place. Hey, slow down there. You already do too much as it is. Piling more on top of that is just going to crush you. And yet I need to do it all the same. I can't let myself fall behind the other Lester nobles. Most importantly, I need to put an end to this war so I can start thinking about how to bring peace and stability back to House Ordelia's territory. I get where you're coming from, but everyone needs a break now and then. Your body's probably screaming at you to get some rest. I'm all right. While it's true my lifespan is slated to be short, it's not like I'm going to just drop dead out of the blue. Well, that's nice. I'm just as healthy as I've ever been, I assure you. You look fine enough, sure. But there's something lingering beneath the surface weighing you down, isn't there? Something the rest of us can't see. Your body's bound to give out if you keep pushing your limits without taking some time to recuperate. But... Listen, Lysithia, I want this war to end just as fast as you do. And once it does, I'm going to settle the score with those who slither in the dark. In other words, it's in your best interest to stick with me. So consider this an order from your king. Stop fighting like you don't have a tomorrow to live for. I mean, I'm still going to need plenty of help once the war is over. I can't have you kicking the bucket before the real fun starts, okay? Understood. If it's an order from his majesty himself, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I know I don't look it, but I'm actually pretty busy here. Of course. Does she really understand, though? At any rate, I'd better put this war to bed as soon as possible. 